next, let's get rid of Windows Home and let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. New codes, new discount. You can get Windows Professional Office. Paste my code. Boom. It's Windows Pro time. So what are the best laptops at CES? I think the star of the show for me is, is that Alienware Area 51M. Wow, that thing is friggin' amazing. Desktop parts, upgradable desktop parts. It really looks epic and yeah, I'd love to get my hands on one of those. Now, of course, this is not for everyone, but I mean, come on, balls to the wall, kick in the plums. This thing is friggin' amazing. Now, when it comes to the other laptops that are gonna ship and probably you're most interested in, the 15-inch premium gaming laptop, tops and stuff like that the ones i'm most interested in some of these things the manufacturers are saying just take with a pinch of salt and i said pinch of salt do not say grain of salt what are you talking about a grain one single grain of salt that's just if you're gonna say it say it right a lot of them saying yeah they're gonna come with an oled display wait wait to see what's actually gonna ship because what happens is they go look at the competitor's booth and they see the competitor has put oled displays coming so they're like oh we weren't gonna put an oled display well let's quickly just change our tag oled's come with our model too no wait to see what actually ships because in reality bar a few tweaks and the retrofitting of rtx graphics and 240 hertz display options pretty much they're the same as the last generation although some are getting i9s like the aero 15x is getting an i9 and even the alienware m17 also comes with an i9 so my favorite laptops are the usual suspects no one knows the performance yet that's why it's like a waste of time going to ces because you can just find out from the press releases they don't let you test the laptops Unless you like walking 5Ks a day and then, yeah, going back to the hotel stuff, then, yeah, you couldn't be bothered video editing. But other than that, the thin and light gaming laptops, that's the thing. That's the thing that's in. And they're all coming with RTX graphics and 240 hertz displays. That's about it. I swear to God. These laptops that are coming out with this, they're the usual suspects. They're exactly the same as the last generation. They've just retrofitted them with those 240Hz displays and RTX graphics. We already know what these laptops are like. Other than there's a few minor tweaks here and there, like the actual Razer Blade Advance, which has the RTX and the 240Hz display. That advanced model is actually one millimeter thicker. So there may be a bit of, you know, thermal changes. So most of the changes will be internal. Other than that, just go to reviews of the previous suspects like the Aero 15X, the GS65, the Razer Blade, the Alienware M15, the Zephyrus. And actually there is one cool laptop, that Alienware M17, the 17 inch thin gaming laptop from Alienware. Now that thing is a baller, okay? That deserves special mention because you can get that with an i9. There isn't many doing i9s now. I guess they're just having trouble, you know, cooling down the 8750H, so they're not doing the i9s. So out of all those laptops, which again are just updated with the RTX and 240 hertz displays, my favorite laptops were the Razer Blade, the Aero 15X, and the Alienware M15, in no particular order, but those three were my favorites. Imagine they changed the trackpad on the Aero. That would probably go to number one. But I can't wait to actually test these out. Really going to be interesting to see how they go in cooling. That's the main thing. I mean, you might as well not even test all the rest. Just see how they go with these RTX graphics and cooling and performance. But I think it's going to be hard to beat those three. The Aero 15X, Razer Blade Advance, and the Alienware M15, and the 17 if you want the bigger one. Can't wait to actually get them in-house to test them. Super excited. But the most important thing to me is the improvements they're doing with the RTX graphics cards for content creation. They'll be able to decode on the graphics card red raw footage. That is amazing. You know, they're going to be tuned for like 3D applications. The drivers are going to be optimized for 3D apps. So these things should be killer for content creation. And I can imagine a lot of Mac people, you know, even if they're on the desktop, you know, when RTX can decode, you know, red footage, raw footage on the GPU, on the fly, and play back that 8K footage or 6K footage. I mean, these people on the Mac, they can't do that. Whether they have the iMac Pro or the MacBook Pro, I mean, AMD just don't decode red footage. So that'll be very interesting. So anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I had a look at pretty much all the laptops. I think Samsung announced a couple ones, you know, the Ultrabook, like who needs another friggin' Ultrabook? And uh, they did actually release a gaming one and Lenovo released you know, the Y-Series gaming. I'll check those out. We all like the thin and premium ones. And yeah, they're the ones to beat and with the MSI GS75 in there as well. Aero 15. Razor Blade, Alienware M15. Woo! Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.